final session of today's conference. Uh, we're going to hear now from Dr. Li Yang. I've known Dr. Li Yang for some years, and um, he runs a traditional Chinese medicine practice in Abingdon, Oxfordshire, which is close to where I live, apart from working in London. And um, when you walk into his surgery, it's a wonderful sight. The room is packed with herbs of all shapes and sizes from floor to ceiling. He really is a very erudite and experienced clinical practitioner. So he's going to talk just for 15 minutes and then we'll move directly into our panel discussion, which I hope will give a lot of opportunity for interaction with all of us here. But uh, Dr. Li Young has been a practitioner of acupuncture and uh, Chinese herbal medicine for 30 years. He's dean of the Renshu College of Chinese Acupuncture and author of Chinese Acupuncture and Mok Sebastian. It is the most widely used textbook on teaching Chinese acupuncture in the Western world. So his fame has spread far and wide. So thank you very much, uh, Liang, come and uh, talk with us. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, good afternoon. I think I'm the last one. And today we learn quite a lot from the speakers for the morning, especially the professor come from the Oxford University, talk about, about a lot about the history pandemic. And now maybe I go to a little bit far. You know, he talking maybe a few hundred years, maybe I go to maybe a few thousand years. So we got time traveling now. Uh, as we view the pandemic in Chinese medicine, we call TCM uh, traditional Chinese medicine. So, of course, this is a typical book. We call Huang Di Lei Jing. Some translation as the Yellow Ample Classic. This is the first book was the complaint in the 500, 300 BC, nearly 2,500 years. Interesting, this book was established all the Chinese medicine system until today. All the principles still same. No any major change. Only change more technique, more method improved, but principles still same. All the uh, most like puncture points, uh, as well as the readings channels for puncture, still same as this book described. So. Of course, in this book, they talk all the chairman also start mentioning the pandemic. Uh, is, is it, in this book, they say some perspective factors in the nature, which is very really strong. Doesn't matter you are strong man, you are weak man, you are old, you are young, you are male, female. Everybody catches will be suffering from. That's because pandemic in that book described. Also interesting in that book, try to understand why pandemic spread. In ancient time, in case, in case about uh, 2,500 years ago, the book said maybe some extreme climate change maybe can be linked to the pandemic. And nowadays, some people start maybe some links but I already mentioned this book. That's why the picture is beautiful, but you can see the sky, not really nice. Seems some extremely climate change might be caused the human beings suffer from. Yeah, this uh, picture is come from the, how say, Handanist, the famous Chinese medicine practitioner in the ancient time. And uh, maybe this time, his first book, published between the 150 and 219 DC. This is a famous practitioner in China medicine until today. His book described all the, about the fiber diseases. We understand today's infection as well as the pandemic diseases. Also, he said this book about why he went to write the book. 
He gave his uh, uh, own personal story. He said, in his family members, in his generation, there's 200 members. But within the next 10 years, about maybe two-thirds of the members or died. 70% of them died from the fiber disease or infection or pandemic disease. That's why he gave up his job. He was the governor of the state called Changsha Taiso in ancient time, like this today's governor of the state. Then gave up to research to chairman. Finally, find this book. In this book, he starts to describe the fibro diseases, includes pandemic diseases. Find out that six steps the disease can be developing from the early stage to the end of the stage. Meanwhile, he gave about 113 formulas in the herb for the herbs to treat in the diseases in different stages. Until today, almost 113 formula today is still widely used in modern time, times to treating some modern conditions. I can, I can give you one example. Uh, one famous formula from this book is called Xiao Cai Huo Tang. Uh, this formula is designed for the stage about three. Step, uh, stay, uh, step three, the disease. In that time, the body lose the harmonized. Then the struggle with the fevers. In that time, use the formula, formula to deal with. Now, the formula we use to treat a lot of conditions, some infectious diseases as well, some pandemic diseases as well, even some gynecological complaints, some intermedicine complaints. I, had a, I use that formula treating one situation, interesting, uh, when patients were suffering from kidney failure, failure, had a kidney transplant. After the kidney transplant, of course, I have to take the drugs for prevent, reject the body, reject it. But under the drugs, he was suffering some side effects. Uh, but most of the time, I have fevers and tight, exhaustion, digestion problem, many complaints. So I have the medical check, say, of course, fever, sometimes some infection or so on, so it's quite common, antibiotics. Sometimes check, and so that's quite common. Uh, meanwhile, the other, other patients received the same donated kidney. I got the kidney transplant, the re re reaction quite good. No any side effects from the drug from the transplant. Every time they check at the same time, meet in the hospital, they say hello. But this, this patient, quite every time, is awful. Then come to me asking me, I didn't think we can, you can do I say, I don't know. Because in ancient time, we didn't have an organ transplant. But in principle, your situation, your reaction seems like some not harmonized your body system. I think that's why I think find this formula. I try to give the formula to him, take a few months. Since then, almost the side effects is gone. And every time check in the hospital with, with his the patient friend, he was found very good. Now already 16 years passed. But other patients, original men, got transplant, response very good. But after 10 years, start deteriorating the situation. Have to need other new kidney, waiting for second transplant. But unfortunately, cannot waiting for the diet. But this patient still alive today, has a full-time work. That's why I think some ancient formula we still can use to deal with the modern conditions. That's why that's famous doctors is. Of course, you know, for pandemic diseases, things from the less famous doctor then start every dynasty in China more detail about you know understand pandemic. In the, I'll say, Ming Dynasty, 